Have you ever thought about starting your own podcast? When I was trying to get to the this podcast off the ground, I had so many questions. How do I record an episode? Where do I find my background music? How do I get my show on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and all the other places people like to listen? Where do I find the advertisers? The answer to every one of these questions is really simple. Anchor. Anchor is a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing and monetizing your podcast. And best of all, it's 100% free and 100% reducedly easy to use. So, if you want to start a podcast, go to anchor.fm slash start to join me and the diverse community of podcasters already using Anchor. That's anchor.fm slash start. I can't wait to hear your podcast. Happy now. We got, of course, some news and that involves cancellations. And of course, we have like two TV shows. Star Wars Resistance for Disney Channel. It's getting canceled after two seasons. And also, we also got the news that that Krypton on Sci-Fi after two seasons has officially been canceled. And I'm going to see if there's more of the shows that just got canceled. Well, that are not exclusively for Netflix. I'm Igrisa46 and you're watching Geek News. We do have uh, the selection of breaking news, and of course it involves some things like, of course, with Krypton have been tweeting, and of course, uh, why am I talking about Krypton? Because that is the breaking news, the Superman prequel. That that's usually air on the Sci-Fi Channel has officially been canceled by Sci-Fi, and that's the uh, story by the Hollywood Reporter, as it said on its Twitter. And of course, it may be tonight's series finale. Yeah, T teases a major DC character. But even though. After two seasons, it's time to say goodbye to to Kal-El's grandfather. Who was the character in there? As the uh, final episode will be Taking them across the multiverse. And also we have the uh, breaking news. The same thing, of course, with... With, of course, Star Wars Resistance. After two seasons... Before season two will air, there's not going to be a season three of... There's not going to be season three of Resistance regarding to the end of the Skywalker saga. Yet that's going to be the whole show. It's going to be aired in October 6th with the series finale coming in 2020. But yet, we got to make sure we're keeping an eye on that. 
you know, I'm like I say, I'm just a, in a reporter form. But we are going to. But I will try my best to find if there's more cancellations involved. And that's your breaking news. Stories of the top, but yet we are going somewhere. Yeah, sorry if it took me so long, but I just had to skim through the uh, of, of what's going on in the geek community. But I did found one issue that I have been avoiding to talk about till now. Taki Watiti, who is famous known as Korg from Thor Ragnarok and who... Is also the, who also directed that film is right now under hot water because of his role in, in the next film he's directing. And it's about Adolf, about the kid, no, rabbit kid, who gets teased and his imaginary friend played by, by TV is the infamous figure Adolf Hitler. And I know. And I... Yes, and I do enjoy watching downfall parodies when it's a fall to the character. When it involves the character played by the late Bruno Gons. And I recommend you guys to watch the downfall parody. That, yeah, I, I don't usually recommend the YouTube videos, but, but I definitely recommend you guys have watched. And if you want, you could you could watch my downfall parodies. And yes, the, the recent one I did was involving gun violence, involving his uh, reaction to. With the gun violence, and yes, it includes something with Walmart removing the video games, but not the guns. On his play button, which I'm gonna get to soon. Sooner than later, but that is one thing you should know about. It's a course. It's a course theme parody. Is of course those uh, downfall parodies, and, it, and right now they some are really good, but some are you know are not not being creative of their downfall parodies. But some did a good job on those. But in the future, I will do the video game parodies. After two recent downfall. Downfall parodies uh, cre creators have retired, and both of them were from making downfall parodies. Well, one already deleted his account, named Ferocious Hero. And then the other is known as he's now Mr. John's Review. He also retired from making downfall, not just because of Article 13 and Euro. But he don't feel like it. But me, I'm next in line for this. But uh, yes, I even though I waste time talking about the downfall parody, the Thor Ragnarok director and Cord himself finds himself in a major hot water when playing Adolf Hitler in the Rabbit Kid. Is of course a very bad sign that this thing will soon fire him for playing Hitler. And speaking of the uh, downfall parody I just mentioned that I did recently is of course this and it's it may be a week late but but here we go.
Although, I do have the news regarding to the, of course, of what happened at the recent, after the shooting two weekends ago, that we do have, of course, that of course we have the involving the gun violence happened in both El Paso and Dayton. But Walmart did did not pull the video games this, from display. But that's because they just pulled video games from display. They didn't pull. I mean, they pulled video games instead of guns. Now that now that is a bad opportunity. To be honest, because it's because that Trump, the president of the United States, said that that the, sometimes that video games are the reason. But I don't agree with him on that. Now, usually I don't talk about politics, and I'm not a uh, Trump supporter and all, but that I would never, that, that you should check out my other show, SJW Watch, which of course I am not for those type of people who don't care about story and all, only, only, you know. Pushing diversity, but although now we're back to the topic, and after the uh, and right after, of course, the recent shooting attempt, the shooting attempt at New Jersey at Walmart, the suspect has been apprehended by the police. After he put down his gun, he put down his gun and he surrendered. And of course, and now we have the update reg- after regarding to the uh, shootings two weekends ago. We have a gun rally all across 50 states. We have a hundred gun right rallies. You know, we got a rallies involving gun rights over there. Now, usually I don't talk about politics in this, and I don't talk about weapon, the weaponry in this, but. But it is geek related because of Walmart just pulled the video games from the store, but not the guns. After the uh, after the shootings at Dayton and El Paso, and also the one that happened at the uh, Garlic Festival. And we have breaking news. Well, well, around the Friday, in between a Friday and today, we just learned that Peter Fonda has died at the age of 79. Uh, yeah, he, he died of age 79 and in Los Angeles. He and it's uh, got the source that says that that Peter Fonda died from respiratory failure caused by lung cancer at his home in LA on August 16th, 2019. 
and his sister, famous actress Jane Fonda, who who is most notable for the westerns, has made the following statement. I am very sad. He was my sweet-hearted baby brother. The talker of the family. I have had beautiful alone time with him these last days. He went out laughing. And yes, even though even though he had two marriages, Susan Jane Brewer from 1961 and then Portia Rebecca Crockett for 1975. But both of them ended in a divorce with the third wife, Margaret DeVogelaire. Who, who Peter had married in 2011 till his death. And he had two children. Bridget Fonda. And one of them is Bridget Fonda who is the actress. Who played it? Who's it? With his daughter playing The Godfather Part 3. And Jackie Brown. And yes, uh, he preceded that by his father, Henry Fonda, and mother, Frances Ford Seymour. That he is survived by his. His two children, his sister, Jane Fonda, and nephew, Troy, Troy Garretti. But, but before I get to the famous roles, and how is this geek related? Well, he was also on Ghost Rider as Mephia Topolis. But, but he is most famous for the debut role in Tammy and the Doctor and and most famous for the Academy Award nominated for original screenplay Easy Rider but although his last role happened to be in the animated series Milo's Murphy Law where he was the director for two episodes. And he was also in Ride with Norman Reedus as himself. In the Keys with Peter Fonda, which he ride along with the Walking Dead star. And it's, we need to spend some time making some condolences for for Jane Fonda, his two children, and his nephew. One more thing before before we sign off this episode of Geek News is, of course, I do want to give a uh, shout out to to anyone. Involving with Geek. Of course, it's uh, my very own podcast, Geek City, and my co host, KMC of the KMC Show. And if you guys want, and of course, in September, we are returning for season two of. We're going to return with season two starting in September once. KMC with his kids going to school. I'm Ingrid 46 and I will see you and I will see you on the next Geek News.